So I'm walking over to my appointment to uh, have my legs measured again. Check it out. But look who I found over here. <laughs> Gone in Thrifty Foods to uh, go shopping, I believe. But there we go. The man himself, eh? <laughs> Chrome. <laughs> I wonder where Emmy is. <laughs> anyway, I have to get going. I have can't stick around and say hi. I have an appointment to get to and I'm uh, only a few minutes away so there we go once again. He's uh, shopping in Thrifty's uh, market for food I'm sure. Okay, ciao for now. So we just came across the street from seeing Chrome Sam and now we have to go in for another measuring on my legs. So let's go do this. I wish I had time to stick around there and talk but I don't. So here we go. There, let's we go. So here we are again doing some measuring on my legs again and uh, we got uh, three pairs of feet in the room here. <laughs> so uh, it looks like a really, really intense process. So you've seen them measure before so uh, I'll catch up with you when I get out of here. Ciao. Okay. So that's 10 and 5. So 105. See that? Because it's 16. 36. Now, because, so where would you want it to end if it was okay. a knee high? Right knee there? High, probably right there. Okay. So take it there and we're going to mark right there okay. and we're gonna have to let them know so 14 7 so it's 14 7 but we have to let them know that between um, this tape and this so between the plus 12 there's actually not an inch and a half do you know what I mean right so we just have to tell them that it is Oh, here we go. That's the final measurements for my stockings. I just got to find out. They send all the measurements in and then I'm just going to have to find out how much they're going to cost me and everything. When I'm going to get them, all that kind of stuff. So, here we go. Oh, boy. Well, there's the parking lot over there that Chrome's van from Van City Van Life was parked in over across the street there. Uh, Thrifty Foods, but... Uh, He's not there anymore, so I was in there quite a while anyway. Anyway, we got to uh, just head back to my tiny little house, take off, and go get the girls. Ciao. Okay, here's my tiny little house here, and my truck. So let's jump in, head out, and go back, get the girls, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm uh, having a vehicle weight inspection done randomly on my uh, on my trailer weight and everything. Oops. Oh, I almost dropped it. Anyway, so I'll come back to you, John. So I'm up on the uh, the weight uh, scales right now on all four tires now, and they're just checking to see uh, the actual weight here. Yeah. She's going around to the other side now to uh, check the weight on that side and they're going to tell me if I'm overweight or not. I don't know. I pray to God I'm not overweight at all and I don't have to park this or do something silly again. I, I have so much weird luck it's not funny. Anyway, I think she's just about done so she's going to come and talk to me now I think. making some uh, additions, doing some math. So, she's 
coming around the other side now. Hmm. Yep, here she comes now. Well, she's taking some more measurements now. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'll let you know what happens uh, as soon as she gets back to me, okay? Ciao for now. So we're going to see if this breakaway actually works. So I'll get you oh. to uh, remove the electrical from the back of the truck. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull this pin here okay. and see if that actuates the breakaway device and the battery in that. Okay. And then we'll get inside the truck and we'll see if you can pull forward. Okay. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. So she was checking the trailer breakaway brake system. She was checking the turn signals, the uh, uh, brake lights, everything about the trailer, and everything was perfectly functional, except the tr camper trailer was a little bit overweight. So now I have to apply for, uh, or go pick up some commercial trailer plates, and I have to apply to ICBC to get a vehicle identification number to go with it because they're commercial. Man, all the hoops I have to jump through with uh, everything I do, ciao. So I decided to come up to the farm here and let the girls visit their good friend up here and uh, let them play around a bit and uh, just re relax and rest up uh, for a while myself and uh, take a breather. Ciao. Here. <laughs> I wish we could have been puppies for longer. Mm -hmm. And while I'm here, I thought I'd uh, pick some of the most delicious uh, wild salad ingredients there is. Miner's lettuce. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. It's delicious. And it's it grows wild everywhere at this time of year. It's one of my very favorite wild uh, lettuce products. It's uh, very succulent, and delicious. So this is wild miner's lettuce, and this is uh, one of my favorite delectable uh, salad items, uh, and I think it's one of the tastiest salad items, wild or commercial, commercially grown. Either way, it's really delectable and tasty. So basically what you do is uh, when you're out there, you just reach down and grab the bottom of the stems here, right at the roots there, and just pull it out of the ground, pull it up upside down like that. And then it'll separate from all the other weeds and everything like that. And then you just take the roots here and make sure they're, they're not very dirty at all. But you clean off uh, whatever dirt's on there and all clean it off real well. And then you can bring it all home and then give it a good rinse off with uh, cool water. And it's clean as a whistle. And you can eat every single part of this plant, including the roots and everything like that. Absolutely. And it's just so delicious. Absolutely delicious. 
Okay, and like I said, uh, it's all been cleaned and rinsed and everything like that. And all ready to go. I've got a bowl of it here, all chopped up and ready to go. Little bits. So we just take this and we basically just chop it up in nice little bite-sized bits, just like we do any salad. It's uh, similar to doing basil or something, but just chop it all up like that. Little bits and then you add it into there. There you go. So... There you are, get rid of this. So there we are, so you know, for salad you can put anything on you want. You can put French dressing, Italian dressing, uh, uh, Thousand Island dressing, ranch dressing, anything you want, blue cheese dressing, anything. But one of my favorites uh, for stuff like this, for especially just greens, simple greens like this, is I love to have olive oil, uh, some good balsamic vinegar, and a little pepper and a little salt and that's it just oil vinegar salt and pepper and i specifically like the balsamic vinegar it's one of my favorites for uh, salads and that so i'm just going to hit that with uh, those things and then uh, just enjoy this all right ciao so this is just another part of my wild foraging for uh, wild foods and stuff that the planet gives us uh, all the time for free and uh, just another part of that sort of thing. So uh, basically, I'm going to just sit here and enjoy this stuff. Mm -hmm. That is really tasty. That's just as tasty as anything you can get out of a commercial grocery store, produce store. Mm, just fantastic. Mm. But anyway, that's... Uh, Kind of been our day. How was your day? <laughs> mm. Mm. So I'm just going to sit back and thoroughly enjoy this because I love I love salads and I love wild pick salads and this stuff miner's lettuce is absolutely fantastic. It's very delicious, very delicious, mm. and it's uh, actually it's super nutritious and it's uh, basically what you call a superfood. Um, so. This is very nutritious, keep you healthy and alive and everything like that. And it's absolutely delicious. And you can put whatever dressing and topping you want on it and have it as a side salad for, uh, you can mix it in with any other iceberg or butter lettuce or romaine lettuce or anything like that. Throw in peppers, whatever you want to do. Throw in dandelions and stuff like that. Make a nice fancy salad. But I just thought you'd, I'd show you one more item of my wild foraging. <laughs> there we go. Mmm. Mm. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic and delicious. So, anyway, that was basically a, our day. How was your day? <laughs> okay, I guess we'll catch you in the next video, okay? Keep hanging out with Baby and Me, Tiny House on Wheels, and Angel. And we'll see you soon. Ciao for now. <laughs>